A programming note for you tonight, something you don't want to miss. 10 p.m. Eastern Time, Rob Schmidt tonight. What time? 8 p.m. tonight. Again, this just coming in to me, and I'm relaying it to you. 8 p.m. tonight, uh, Rob Schmidt, our own Rob Schmidt, is going to sit down, or rather interview, uh, President Zelensky. That's happening tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Again, a sit, or rather interview um, with Zelensky will happen at 8 p.m. Uh, with Rob Schmidt, so you don't want to miss that. All right, moving on now. With gun violence surging across the nation, the debate on banning guns now sitting as a bipartisan issue, the Supreme Court could expand gun rights as Democrats call for more restrictions. You remember that report we brought you earlier in New York. Uh, joining us to discuss is Minnesota Republican congressional candidate and former NBA player Royce White. Royce, always good to see you, and thanks so much for coming on. There is a lot to talk about here, and, and the reason being there are a lot of politicians that are out there making sound bites on all the media shows, et cetera, and interviews. Um, you also tweeted out this video I'd like to point out for our viewers and then get your response, hammering how essential the Second Amendment is. Here's that. And the, the Second Amendment is the only thing keeping this country from becoming China. But people don't understand that. It, 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 two things. Some people don't understand that because they don't know what's going on in China, and the other half would invite America to become China. They would love that. And again, that was a quick snippet, but it, in terms of what we're seeing with, with Ukraine, that kind of hammers your point there. This is a country, a sovereign nation that's being invaded where, where men of fighting age had to stay. They were literally handed assault-style weapons to stay and fight while women and children left that area. I believe that was the point that you're trying to make about why the Second Amendment is in place, or at least one of the reasons that it is in the Constitution. The president believes um, that this, again, is not absolute. Your thoughts on that, Royce? Well, I think the Second Amendment conversation, by and large, is discussed from the wrong point of view, and it's, it's discussed in the most immediate um, especially in times where we've had national tragedies such as these two mass shootings. And, you know, the immediate is always important. There's no doubt that we should, we should never uh, look to neglect the immediate. But from the 30,000-foot view, the Second Amendment has a very specific mechanism in our country, and, and that is this country is a nation of shopkeepers. And when you pair the independent business owner with the Second Amendment, you get a safeguard against economic imperialism, one, but also tyranny, tyranny from foreign powers and, and, and domestic tyrants alike. Um, and, and people have lost sense of that. And, and the, the big reason why people have lost sense of that is because, by and large, across the aisle, we have traded in our freedom, our concept of freedom and, and our, our real freedom um, for security and, and, and materialism. So people don't understand that the, the Second Amendment is a, a bastion of freedom, not only for Americans, but it actually underwrites the sovereignty of over half the nations around the world. Um, many of these countries are not invaded because of the prowess of our military, of course, um, but, but ultimately the backstop of our military is that people won't attack us here at home. Why? We have 400 million guns and we have 100 million people or more who are, are willing to use them. I also want to bring up, too, uh, and I'm, I'm happy that you brought up the military point as well. That's um, right. That's first stop. Uh, Canada uh, recently, maybe you've seen this, uh, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau freezing um, handgun sales. He's not going to allow, through legislation, uh, import, export of gun sales, trading guns, selling guns, uh, handguns, rather, in Canada. The reason why I bring it up, it doesn't affect the United States. However, this is the biggest change um, in gun laws in a country in this generation. Your thoughts on that? Do you think this type of uh, progressive attitude could may potentially bleed over to the states? Well, I think everything that comes from Canada, Justin Trudeau and, and the, uh, the cadre of people who, who subscribe to the World Economic Forum and global governance has the opportunity to spill over here. Fortunately for us, our founding fathers were, were uh, you know, had the foresight to build our Constitution and write our Constitution in a way that, that many American citizens do understand their constitutional rights, uh, even if it is in, in, in some um, distant manner. Uh, there's still enough of us that understand it closely enough to, to always guard against this happening. Um, I think the real gun policy that we should look at around the world to indicate the dangers of, of us being lenient on the Second Amendment is Mexico. I mean, Mexico is a prime example of, of a country that has restrictive gun laws, 
uh, where where it has had no no uh, impact on on violence or or mass shootings. They have mass shootings and mass graves and cartel violence running amok in Mexico. The the cartels run Mexico and 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 the government as well. But but they have a monopoly on violence, a true monopoly on violence, and and it's hurt the Mexican people greatly. We appreciate you sharing your opinions. I got to jump. I just want to really quickly. For, I, I know that you have a campaign. How can folks find out more about your voice? Uh, RoyceWhite.us. That's our campaign website. You can also follow me on Getter and True Social. All right. Royce White joining us live there on 2A. Royce, thank you very much. Good to see you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.